చిరంజీవి గారు మీరు ఈ మధ్య ఇన్వెస్ట్ చేస్తున్నారా లేదు లేదు నేను ఇంకా చేయలేదు హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్ వీఆర్ గోన్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ స్టాక్ మార్కెట్ షేర్ మార్కెట్ వాట్ ఈస్ స్టాక్ మార్కెట్ వాట్ ఈస్ షేర్ మార్కెట్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ షేర్ మార్కెట్ ఆర్ స్టాక్ మార్కెట్ బోత్ ఆర్ సేమ్ Uh, there is no difference first we need to understand what is a stock and what is a share okay before going for basics of stock market first we need to understand a basic business requirement if i want to start a business what is a basic requirement i need to look for capital capital in the sense some amount should be there to start business how much amount is required it is up to what kind of business you are going to start so the amount which you are going to look for that is nothing but a capital okay and why the business in the sense we are going to sell some product and to attract customers what is the product you are going to make to make that product we need a some amount it is it can be anything to start a business means it can be anything is it amount is sufficient no amount is not sufficient <clears throat> we need to perform lot of uh, analysis like uh, what kind of product i need to prepare is that uh, required for user customers if there is no customers i cannot sell my product so that is the first we need to understand what is the customer requirement according to customer requirement i need to think for preparing a product or making a product okay to that is first initial step i am ready to prepare a, make a product for that what i need to have first initial capital amount that is capital amount means some amount i need to have next one i need to find out a place to start my business infrastructure a lot of hard work is required to find out the place or to find out a uh, uh, to promote my business similar way if i don't have amount to start my business so what i am going to do i am going to ask my family members to give some amount to participate that means for example i am planning to start a business with 1 lakh rupee then i don't have that much amount so what i am going to do i'll ask my family members they are going to invest for example out of 1 lakh friends or family members they are going to invest 25000 10000 or 5000 they are going to invest to make my business requirement that is 1 lakh so every business <coughs> is <coughs> required capital to start if you have the amount you are going to start the business if the amount is not there you are willing to start the business but amount is not there so the capital amount to gain the capital amount what we are going to do we are going to ask our family members to be part of our business journey that is nothing but a investment who is going to invest in my business my family members are going to invest okay now how they are going to expect they are they are going to invest amount that is fine so for example if they invest 50% 20% 25% i have to give some amount as a interest or some kind of benefit i need to showcase to them so that they are happy 
to invest in my business. That is a basic business model. Now, how the stock market is going to come into picture? Similar way, whatever the business model we discussed here, the same kind of business, some company is looking to expand or start a business. So what they are going to do, they are looking for a capital amount, maybe crore or 10 crores, 100 crores like that. That much amount they may not get from the family members or some anything. So what they are going to do, whatever the business they are planning to start, they are going to go for IPO. IPO, what is IPO? Just Google it and understand what is IPO. Initial public offer. To get this IPO, there is a government body called SEBI. This is a government body, SEBI Securities and Exchange Board of India. So whatever the company they are looking for, investment from public, investment from public, they are going to register, they are going to showcase their assets. This is my product and they are, these are my assets. Like that, they are going to showcase and then they are going to register with the SEBI. It is a government body and public listing. They are going to say that that IPO is nothing but public listing. Public listing is nothing but they are looking for investment from public. How they are going to get an investment public? Whatever the amount they are looking for. 100 crores or 10 crores, whatever amount it they are looking for, they are going to divide that a smaller portions. For example, 1000 rupees are there, they are looking for the amount. The 1000 rupees are going to divide into 1000 parts. That means each part, it is going to have a value of 1 rupee. Similar way, they are going to issue public offering, it may be 100 crores or 1000 rupees or 10,000. Organizations which are looking for investment from the public, they are divide that whatever the amount they are looking for, they are going to divide that amount in a smaller portions. What is the advantage here? If you are going to get investment from the any bank, you need to go for loan to start business. If you get a loan, what is going to happen? You have to pay interest amount for every month. If you are going to get investment from your family members, you need to give some showcase some benefit monthly, some amount, some token appreciation or what something you need to showcase or we need to give the partnership into that particular family member. In this public offering, what they are going to do? They are accepting the investment from public. It is they are directly can't reach public. So the company which you're looking for amount, capital amount for their business expansion or a, a new upcoming, whatever it may be. So what they are going to do? They are going to Look for investment from public. That investment is nothing but they are going to register with the SEBI government. SEBI is a government body and they are going to issue a offering IPO. With that IPO is nothing but whatever the amount it is they are looking for, they are going to divide a smaller portions. That smaller portion value may be 1 rupee, 10 rupees, 100 rupees. That amount of small portion is nothing but a share. That amount, they, they are going to put that amount as a share amount. This is a share I am going to give to invest from the public. They are ready to accept the investment from public. What is the advantage? They no need to pay any, uh, what is that interest? They are getting investment from public. 
for that they are not going to pay any interest without interest they are getting capital amount so that what is going to happen they are going to run the business with the investment from public now company is getting benefit then what is the benefit of whoever investing how can this um, investor who is uh, going to part of this public this public how they are going to invest in this particular company who are looking for capital how can they give that amount to that company from the investor from the uh, watch our company both are need to register with sebi now through the company is going to register with sebi now how the public is going to register with the sebi there the concept is going to come into picture how can we invest the concept is going to come into picture dmat account with the help of dmat account who is going to operate dmat accounts dmat accounts are going to provided by each and every bank institution rs there are third party vendors like jeroda upstart angel one grow there are plenty of applications are there to provide the dmat account to participate to invest any company how can we they participate whatever the small portions divided by the respective company to purchase to purchase that small portions we need to have a dmat account with the help of dmat account i am going to purchase that shares the small portions that means through the dmat account which is registered dmat accounts will be registered with the sebi government from the sebi government whatever the company is registered they are going to get that amount capital amount so what is this investment for every business investment is required the company which they are looking for investment they are going to register with the sebi and whoever planning to invest planning to invest in the sense i know that company for example the company is itc itc we know what is a portfolio they are pioneer in uh, the soaps or products whatever the household products we are using they are making most of the household products reliance industry there are plenty of companies like that for business expansion they are going to define some portion of the value whatever the amount they are looking for that particular share only we are going to purchase through dmat account so what is a stock market stock market is nothing but it is a body centralized body wherein investors and who are looking for investment they are both together register in that body so by using that sebi internal body that government body we are in a position to investment in a particular companies there are plenty of companies are there so stock market is nothing but simple thing is that we are going to be part of a company investment investment is nothing but what is we without having any knowledge on business the business will be taken care by respective company but by purchasing the small portion of the share you are becoming a owner of small owners small portion of the owner in the respective company it is just like you are having a stake stake in the sense that 100 100 shares are there total that company is issuing 100% shares maybe 100% shares each company is going to have with them 51% of shares 51 or more than 51% that company whoever issuing the public offering they should they are not going to release all 100% 
they are going to release only some portion lesser than 49% why whoever purchase whoever having 51% they are going to be owner of the company they are going to be owner of the company so they are not going to issue all the shares all the portions whatever the capital amount they are looking for out of that capital amount the total company assets they are not going to give to the public they are going to give the public only some portion only accepting the investment okay so stock market is nothing but investing in a company through dmat account so for every business investment is required so that investment who are looking for they are looking from from public that is the place is managing the body is nothing but stock market how the stock market is going to work what are the requirements how they are going to help how we are going to get a benefit whenever we are going to invest a company it is so simple that if you go to the market there are 10 kind of soaps will be there you are going to the market there are 10 kind of soaps will be there out of 10 soaps you are going to choose the best one best one or cheap one whatever it may be you are going to choose the best one to select the product similar way investment while investing a company there are 100 companies will be there which company you are going to invest there is trust the trust need to be there we need you need to trust that company for any kind of business risk factor will be there what is the risk factor we are trusting that company that product is going to work well after buying the product, you went home and uh, that soap, whatever the soap you bought it, that is not working properly. You are not getting foam properly. And you are, you are getting itching. That means what you are going to do? You are going to lose the trust on that particular soap. You are not going to buy again that particular soap. Similar way, in the stock market, the risk will be there, whatever the investment the investment the capital which you are going to place in that particular respect to company is depends upon the trust okay there are lakhs of companies are registered with sebi and looking for amount from investment from the public okay so this is a basic stock market there are plenty of other options are there in the stock market basic uh, 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 assumption is stock market in the sense we are going to last money it is a kind of gambling and all those things there are situations are there for every business risk factor will be there so we need to understand what company you are going to invest based on your trust without any trust we are not going to invest our amount in any company this is a small kind of business. If you want to start your own business, you need to look for capital amount of higher amounts, capital amount. You need to look for uh, other sources, what product you need to uh, make and what product you need to sell, customer satisfaction. We need to look for the place. So much infrastructure is required to start any kind of business. But in the stock market, even you can start with 5000 rupees also even 1000 rupees also sufficient to start to be part of any company and that is the beauty of the stock market there are products are there the products in the stock market out of all the products which i am going to try and you which i am going to uh, advise you to be investor as a short term that means we are going to invest a small portion of your amount in a company which is looking for good for you which company i need to choose how to choose how to make it 
what are the requirements we are going to discuss in next session now hope you understand what is a stock market stock market is nothing stock market share market both are same you are going to be a part of company's investment if we are investing 1 rupee or 10 rupees or 100 rupees also you are be are part of in the respective company investment investment you are investing the money in the respective company means you are getting a some portion of ownership on that particular company if you purchase one share also one share in the sense that share who provided they are asking amount from you it may be 1 rupee it may be 10 rupees it may be 100 rupees but they are taking amount from you that means they are responsible for your investment how this amount is going to increase how this amount is going to decrease okay simplest example this stock market is going to work based on demand and supply demand and supply if the de demand is more it is not available automatically what will happen you are going to the market uh, onions the onions are not available you are planning to purchase but onion price is going to increase when the onion price is going to decrease whenever the more onions are available in the market automatically the price is going to decrease sometimes there will be an artificial increment how they give make artificial increment they hold the stock and they are going to publish that there is no stock automatically they are increase they are going to increase the price of the product so we need to be cautious while doing a purchase the shares in the stock market what is a real what is a fake there are companies as i told you stock market is a big government in that sebi government all companies which you are looking which which are looking for uh, public investment they are going to register the registration is not going to happen simple manner they have to showcase their assets they are they are going to delay uh, rely on some government body and some organization to understand to uh, calculate their assets and their product understanding this company is doing and this is a company the profit is this much and they are going to uh, they have these many branches all those information they are going to submit to the sebi government through a one particular third party organization so they are going to value asset value what is a profit they are getting what is how much assets they are holding how many branches are they are holding how many employees are they are working all those information are going to analyze by some third party and submit that document instruction to the sebi government and register sometimes during this process some companies will be there shell companies will be there okay that shell companies also are going to take part of this public investment and accept the investment from the public and once amount is received they are going to say that my company is going to get loss because investment whatever we are investing in that amount yeah, sharing screen ha huh? sorry sharing screen or screen is shared right oh, no not a web page no huh? console on share this all no console i didn't say i'm just uh, showing okay. the web screen on the web browser on it okay okay so what is happening in this the stock market is nothing but where we are going to invest in a company by understanding their company how good it is is as simple as that investing purchasing a product which you like a trust based on the trust only you are going to invest in any company to invest we need an 
account what kind of account we need to have a dmat account we are going to create a dmat account in next session what is required to part of this investment okay in the stock market there are different products are there those product share stock and shares options futures intraday which i am going to teach which we are going to discuss is all about short term trading or long term trading only i am not going to encourage anyone to do intraday options and futures i am not going to teach i am going to teach i am going to we are going to discuss about short term trading only how to do short term trading when to purchase how to purchase what are the steps we need to take to invest in a particular company once we invest how we are going to get a profit okay when we sell we are going to get a profit that's a place we are going to understand what is a stock market hope you understand what is a stock market any doubts on stock market Okay. okay so we understood stock market is going to manage by sebi it is a government body wherein we are going to invest through a dmat account so we need a dmat account to purchase a shares how the what is a share share is nothing but the company which they are whichever looking for investment from public they are going to divide their capital amount in a small portions that small portion 1 rupee 10 rupees 100 rupees whatever the amount it may be that is nothing but one share value to purchase that share we can invest by purchasing that particular share how can we purchase whoever planning to invest in any company we need to have a dmat account so we are in a session i am going to start same link so in that we are going to discuss about what dmat account we are going to understand in dm creating a dmat account in the dmat account interface what are the things we need to do i am going to showcase in next session okay thank you all bye